Hey guys, in this video, I'll do a full review of the Benghazi ROM for the Samsung Galaxy Note 2, the N7100 3G, or um, its code name, T03 3G name. So, uh, this is a ROM that is coming with the Android 5.1.1 version, uh, which, uh, as you may know, that the latest version of the Android at the moment. So, 5.1.1, this is the version that it comes with. Um, so far, if I compare this ROM to the Resurrection Remix ROM for the Note 2, this seems to be a little bit more um, stable. Um, I've tested out the basic stuff like Wi-Fi, camera and everything, uh, Bluetooth, the, uh, the browser, everything works really fine, no problems there. Um, so of course, if you tap on the build number a couple of times, it will say that you are a uh, developer. And then also, uh, let's just go back here. Uh, so this is using NOAA Launcher. This is NOAA Launcher basically. Uh, you can see NOAA settings there. And uh, and of course you can update it if, if, the, if the version is not the latest version. And then also, um, you know, the installation is uh, pretty cool uh, for this ROM. You get Aroma Installer where you can choose different options. SD card acceleration, Sony Bravia engine, and you know options like that. Uh, this is a really interesting ROM. This this is not this is not a normal um, CM twelve point one based ROM. This is really interesting ROM, interesting ROM in terms of the features and everything. Uh, so you can see that we have the awesome beats. That also you have the option to install it. Um, auto start, really great application. Um, you can have set different application that you need to start. Um, widget updating, you can disable a lot of stuff, you know, this is going to increase the performance of your Note 2 and uh, and also we have this default file manager and uh, we also do get the option to install uh, this file manager and, uh, and there we go, you can see that this is the gallery and then also also we do have the system app remover, you can remove any system app uh, if you're uh, on off your phone, okay, you're seeing something, your phone is not rooted. Uh, maybe I need to flash the Super SU app again. Um, but yeah, this works fine. And then also we have the Switch Pro widget, which is also a really nice application for widgets. And then also Wiper for Android FX, you all people mostly know about this. Um, really nice for those who, you know, as listen to a lot of music you can have some effects and everything of course you can update it uh, you have the Wi-Fi connection at the moment um, so let's just quickly go here um, into this notification area now this is the 5.1.1 uh, feature you can see this cool arrow um, you can click on this cool arrow and then without going into main settings you can quickly access the Wi-Fi networks and everything so that also works really fine and that is the uh, the, the feature of the 5.1.1 uh, so this is how the lock screen looks like you can just quickly um, unlock your device so you can uh, go to the camera or uh, or the uh, or the dialer uh, that also works really fine and holding down the home, uh, home key here will open up the multitasking area you can uh, close everything one by one or everything at once by this button there and, uh, and if you click here it will open up these settings you can see NOAA settings, system settings, manage apps and wallpaper uh, we have these uh, different types of wallpapers you can uh, go into gallery or ES file explorer you can also have themes uh, which is really nice I'm gonna talk about it now um, yeah, this is this is these are some of the basic Android options. Then also we have here the sound option. Um, nothing that much of um, a unique here. Uh, display and lights, uh, really nice double to tap sleep uh, feature. Uh, you can tap here. You can see uh, works really fine. And then also uh, this is really this is really nice. By the way, this battery life feature. Um, like you can change the LED color like notification light I can just uh, turn it on and I can just switch it to any color I want to like red, blue, green uh, this is switching uh, I don't know if you can see through camera uh, more clearly but the light is changing colors uh, this is really this is really magical this is a magic feature that I like um, you know change the LED lights color 
and then the theme option of course I don't have any theme that I've downloaded you can download more themes here get more themes um, really nice themes available on the Play Store uh, notification manager um, then also lock screen options uh, music visualizer uh, also nice option there uh, then also we have the, the battery at the buttons you can also have some navigation bar buttons enabled if you are you know if you don't like to use these buttons you can enable them uh, but uh, if you disable them you will basically really get the full screen uh, which uh, which is really nice because I'm gonna keep it disabled uh, I like using these buttons and I like using full screen like in playing games especially you don't have to deal with the uh, navigation bar here you know uh, covering up the area of the screen so um, then also we have the uh, some normal Android options there so yeah the performance which is really nice you can uh, uh, set the maximum frequency of your CPU all the way uh, to 1.2 if you wanna you know down clock your your processor to conserve the battery life this, this is really nice and then you can also change the CPU governor you can change it from the from this to to power save or performance if you want to have some gaming uh, of course you don't uh, have the ability to do overclock like from 1.6 to um, 1.7 or 1.8 uh, but you definitely have the option to underclock it to increase the battery uh, so battery is really nice battery life is really nice it's not like messed up like we have on the CM12 um, but you know it, this ROM is basically different from other ROMs so um, so be sure to check out the link down below in the description for this ROM, Benghazi ROM for the Galaxy Note 2. And uh, and yeah, to install it, just have to make sure that your Galaxy Note 2 is rooted with the TWRP recovery. Uh, just flash the ROM like the normal way, by data factory reset, then install the ROM and just reboot, and it will reboot really fine. So yeah, thank you so much for checking out this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you do, then please give this video a thumbs up, and, um, and I'll see you next one. Peace out.